Right, with the leftover amounts of clay that we just used for the coils, now we're going to have a quick lesson on pinch pots. Now, pinch pots are awesome for the bodies of something, an animal. You could even make bowls out of them, but you basically need to have two balls of clay. That one is bigger, so you steal a bit off it. They really need to be pretty closely the same. And this is the same moist clay. It's, I actually have recycled the clay from the coil we just did. And what you do then is make it into a fairly smooth, nice ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you put it in one hand. Probably your writing hand thumb needs to go in there, not all the way through, but it's a nice little, reminds me of nursery rhymes. And then you hang on to it again, and the pinching process is why it's called a pinch pot, is that you, go, you start from down the bottom, you go pinch, and you move your hand and your thumb kind of around, rotate it, pinch, 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 see how it's sort of turning. Don't pinch too hard, it needs to remain about a centimetre thick. But what happens is this bit here starts to feel big, and in there, not so big, so pinch, 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 all the way around, I'm moving it as I do it. Oh, good looking picture there. Pinch, 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 not too hard. You shouldn't actually see all the finger marks in there, and if you do, just go back over them and smooth them out a little bit. You want to end up with a little bit extra on this edge here so that you can use that to join the other one onto in a minute. So there's one, pop it down, keep it moist, don't handle it too much. Next one is exactly the same. Put your thumb in, pinch, 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 all the way around. It was lovely moist in there, it's good. And around, and around, it's good for your muscles. Good fun. I'll speed up. And you've still got that nice fat bit around the edge, right? Good. I think that one's still a little bit bigger than this one. Then the joining process. Now you can rough that up again. Anything you join in clay has to be joined um, quite securely, otherwise it will burst. What you're aiming to do is trap air in there now so that then you can manipulate the whole shape and add things without it caving in. If you've got a little air escape, so you're putting that on quite firmly. If you've got air escaping, it's going to cave in. So here we go. That's that's pretty pretty good, but you can see the line. You've got to make it so that you don't see the line. Okay, so I'm going around, 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 Ooh, joining those together. That's why you need that little bit extra at the lip where it's joining. This is the kids love this because then there's air trapped in there and you can cap that and make it into any body shape that you want and it's not going to cave in because none of the air is escaping. If there becomes a little um, split in that join, which sometimes does happen with the kids, it'll start caving in so you need to start again because the air is not trapped anymore but you can get a ruler or something flat, just your hands fine. These are the best tools that we will ever have. I haven't got fancy tools, I don't need fancy tools. I say to the kids all the time, these are precious, what you do with these, and I make jokes about it, it's a scratchy one. But you can, you can use them to make that. Once you've made the ball, you can put that aside, and this is say for an animal, and the joins are just paramount. If you can't get those joins right with the arms and the legs and the head and things, it will all just fall apart. But with the legs, let's say you want to join on, you know, Four legs. Just make little coils again. Ooh, that one's a bit fatter than that one, so I'll steal some off it. Pinch it off. You've still got quite a lot of clay left to make several of these, so maybe little brother or sister could join if you're game. Ah, right. Okay. Dad might even like to have clay. We'll see. Anyway. There we go. So get your sort of basic shapes there. And say to yourself, all right, that doesn't really look like a leg. What do we need to do? With clay, it's best not to have too long a leg. You wouldn't be making big flamingos or giraffes because the big long neck and the legs can become really a, a problem. So, but to join, you find a spot. Once again, rough it up a little bit. You could add a little bit of water, but this clay is absolutely beautiful. It's not been handled too much. Squish it on. Now that, I say to the kids, if that comes off, it's not joined well enough. And obviously, I didn't join it all that well. So what you have to do is hold it, and once again with your finger, squish down those edges, turning it around, 
Try not to be handling it too, too much. There we go, there's one leg. And once again, it doesn't come off this time. Oh, it's stretching a little bit, so I have to be careful. So there's one. And we can put it back into shape. And uh, on there. I'm going faster possibly than you need to, of course. You can do this a bit slower and more carefully. So that goes all the way around. If you can see, I say to the kids, if you can see where it's joined on, it's not joined on. If you can see it, it should look like it's just morphed out um, like a creature coming out of a shell or something. It should absolutely look like it belongs there. If, it, if you can see cracks, it's not right. You can always mould these later. So there's two little legs. Give a little pat again, getting him back in shape. If there's an air leak, that will cave in. So you'll know straight away whether it hasn't worked. So next one, of course, whoop, come off. No, that's not joined. The kids think that just by putting it nearby to the body means that it's joined, but it's not. You really have to make sure that finger, or any of the fingers, getting a bit tricky now because you have to move around these two that are already there. Okay. Yep, that feels pretty good. It's looking a bit, bit shabby. We can fix that up later. So we've got three now, and obviously you'll put, put that fourth. You know, I can see straight away that's way too big. That fourth. Did I? I don't think I did it all of them. <gasps> Is that starting to cave in? I'm a bit suspicious I might have put a hole in it, but anyway, we'll see. Pop that on there and go all the way around. And these are called pinch pots, and it's a little animal, obviously. It's not a pot anymore, but the, the word or the why you call it pinch pots is there's two pots that are joined together to make and trap that air inside there. Now, before we start shaping those little legs, turn it up and make sure it does actually stand. Make a great elephant, wouldn't it? If you put the head on it, a big trunk. Any, I say to the kids, anything that's hanging out, any extremity is easily broken. So if you're making an animal, don't have spindly legs, arms. The detail on it has to be chunky, even to the point that you exaggerate the fat little legs or something like Don't give them big, tall, skinny legs, but that's really cute. And that could be almost anything. anything. Any kind of animal will be defined now by the heads. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with those legs. That could be a turtle if you squish it down. Give it a little pat. Oh, how cute is that? Right. And then the kids can draw the turtle um, design on. They probably put the um, tortoise turtle. Whoa, see, I pressed too hard. You have to be careful not to press too hard. Or put it too close to a dirty surface. Um, so we can put a little head on a little turtle, do it on the side so you can see it, boink, 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 boink. once again, that join doesn't, you can't even see that it's there. There you go, little head. Very cute. And I've had kids at the high school years later say to me, oh, Mrs Davis, I've still got that really cute little animal that I made in school, and it's only lost one leg, so it's all good. So that's how you can make, oops, sorry, that's how you can make a very cute little animal very quickly <laughs> and fun. Good job.